Hey guys, welcome back. In the last lecture, what we did, we just make the text editable using jQuery and then we saved the changed values into the database using Ajax. In this lecture, we will see how to check whether an element is visible or not in the DOM. And we will also learn how to warn a user if they refresh the, un refresh the browser without uh, saving their changes. Okay, this is a very simple and basic check and you must be aware about this because this feature might be required by application where you have to allow users to update and edit the forms. Okay, so let's do that in our example. In the last lecture where we made the text editable and there we can use such feature. However, I again want to make it clear that this could be useful for all kind of forms and pages that contains input controls. Okay, so open the application.js and come to the bottom of the file. So just switch to the project directory and open your application.js. So application.js okay and now it's to the bottom of the file and here we need to implement that feature okay so we will simply call an event listener which is before unload and here we can check if the input field for editing the book name is visible okay and user refresh the page then we can warn a user that if they reload the page without saving their changes then their changes might be lost okay so let's do that so what we need to do here simply call the event listener so window dot add event event listener and here the event will be before unload okay and then just call a function with an argument that is event okay so you can simply call the e or event as full okay and then implement this function okay and into this function first we need to check if the element the exist or not by element i mean that this division which contains the input box to update the book name and the update and cancel button okay so only if this book editable area is visible then only we will warn the user okay so how we can do that so first if dollar and use the id of that division so hash dot uh, sorry book editable area dot is okay so by this method we can check in jquery that whether an element is visible or not so just provide visible okay so if this element is visible then your jquery returns true and if it is not then it will return false okay so implement this sorry not here just here at the curly braces and what we can do here if this is visible then we can just prevent any kind of event and we can just use event dot prevent default event default okay at semicolon and then return value should be blank or you can provide any custom return value as well so event dot return value and assign it as a blank string okay and now save the page okay and uh, come to the browser sorry save the file and come to the browser and refresh your page okay so here you can see that right now that book editable area is not visible okay why because by default it has the style display none okay so when you refresh the page now you will not see any warning message and if you click on this editable okay and now if you refresh the page you will see this alert okay that reload site changes you made may not be saved okay so if you click on cancel okay it will it still remain on the same page and if you reload the page and if you click on the reload then it will reload the page and you will switch back to the previous state and this is how you can display sub, such kind of warning messages to user if they reload the page without making saved changes okay but we tried this without making any changes to the book name okay now let's try to do some changes for the book name and then reload the page without clicking on the update button so click on this pencil icon again and let's say edit volume one okay and now if you refresh the page you will again see the warning if you click on the cancel okay you will still remain on the same page and if you click on the reload your changes will be lost okay so now nothing has been happened i mean request ajax request is not sent to the rails controller so the book title is still what it was before refreshing the page okay 
and that's it here i hope you get the idea how to do this we tried this by checking the visibility of an element on the page but if you wish you can try this by checking whether an input field is empty or not or whether an empty, empty uh, sorry input field has some updated value or not okay for example let's try the same warning message by leaving the text input field blank for this book name okay so what i will do that when i will remove the page okay and if i refresh uh, i remove the content and I, if i refresh the page then i should see the same warning so what we need to do just go to the application.js and here we just need to change our if condition okay so just copy this first and comment it out and paste it here and here what we will do that first we will copy the id of the input box here and the id of input box is like uh, editable name so just copy this editable name and paste it inside the application.js okay paste it here and now remove this is visible instead we will just use well okay and now if its value is blank or undefined then we can again warn users that uh, changes he made are not saved okay so just uh, save this and uh, Sorry, refresh the browser, reload the site, click on this and remove the name. Okay, and if you refresh the page again, you can see that jQuery is checking that whether this input has blank value or not. So right now it has the blank value. So if you refresh the page, you will see that warning message. So click on the cancel and provide some value here okay so if you provide some value here and now if you refresh the page you can see that it does not show any warning message okay but uh, for now what i will do that i will keep this uh, syntax okay because if that uh, area is visible then user must click on the update button okay and then only he can switch back to the previous state or user must click on the cancel button okay so it's all up to you that what condition you want to put here just to make sure that you are putting the correct condition in your code and uh, the feature will work for you and that's all this is a very small but must know concept and i hope you like this try this lecture at your end and we will meet into next lecture till then tata goodbye take care and stay safe